Welcome everyone, today's video is going to be a little unconventional and different from my usual videos because I have to do this outside without a backdrop because I've tried this before and last time it created a lot of nasty fumes. To make it bearable we are just going to do it here outside without any backdrop and therefore the wind will just carry the fumes away. To make styrene from polystyrene we are using this DIY paint can still which I've used before to make styrene and we are also going to use polystyrene. As a polystyrene source we are using these nice little chunks which were made by adding styrofoam to acetone. The resulting goo was added to a beaker on a hot plate and it was heated in there until all of the acetone had simply evaporated off. It's possible to use styrofoam directly yet this is inconvenient. If you use the process I just described, you can reduce the volume by a lot. To ensure a good seal, the lid was wrapped in some PDFE tape and we were ready to go. Have a look at the entire setup. There we have this Bunsen burner below the paint can with the styrene and at the top we have the aluminium pipe as a condenser. The resulting crude styrene will come over, condense in here and be passed over into this flask. Using some wet cloth I hoped that I was able to keep it cold. The Bunsen burner was lit up and it shouldn't take long until first crude styrene should start to come over. In the beginning some smoke started to pour from the pipe. It looked rather interesting. The smoke is made from pyrolysis products which definitely aren't healthy but this isn't styrene because it didn't want to condense. The pyrolysis products can contain benzene and all sorts of other nasty hydrocarbons. You should neither inhale them nor should you light them up. It took about 10 minutes but here you see first pyrolysis products coming over. Pure styrene would be colorless but we are going to distill the product again anyways. To decrease heat loss and to speed things up a little the paint can was wrapped in aluminium foil and the receiving flask was also wrapped in aluminium foil because it was getting sunny outside and I didn't want the styrene to polymerize. The efficiency of the condenser was increased by adding a wet piece of cloth. The main reaction going on can be seen above. The polystyrene is decomposing to styrene. Some other side reactions are still taking place. As the reaction continued we collected more and more crude styrene as you can see here. To keep the condenser efficient some fresh water was added occasionally. You can really see how hot it gets. Styrene has a boiling point of around 145 degrees celsius. About 100 milliliters of crude styrene were collected just from the first run. Because I still had some polystyrene left I decided to do a second run. The procedure was finished once nothing came over anymore. The Bunsen burner was switched off and the apparatus was allowed to cool down. In total it looked like we collected about 180 milliliters of crude styrene. The product is still impure but it's still clear as you can see here. It's a little dark but it's definitely clear. To keep it from polymerizing overnight some vitamin C was added to bind radicals and it was wrapped in aluminium foil and a plastic bag to keep light away from it. In the reaction container there was nearly nothing left but just tar. I'm going to keep the can for future styrene and benzene runs. The next day I was ready to purify the styrene. Fortunately it was still liquid and hadn't solidified yet. A simple distillation apparatus with this new hot plate was set up. We still had to figure things out but after a few seconds of trying we were able to activate the hot plate and also the steering. The display might look strange and broken on camera but to the human eye it looks just okay. It doesn't flicker in any way. The flickering effect you see is due to the frame rate of the camera. A simple distillation apparatus wrapped in aluminium foil to prevent polymerization of any styrene was set up to fraction the styrene. Styrene boils at 145 degrees celsius so everything between 140 degrees and 150 degrees C was collected and everything else was discarded. Because I got tired of waiting the hot plate was switched out for a Bunsen burner at some point. Once the desired temperature was reached the beaker was switched out for a storage bottle. The stuff collected in the waste beaker is definitely flammable and it's probably a mixture of all sorts of nasty hydrocarbons. In the end we were left with a lot of tar which I'm just going to burn at some point and with about 100 milliliters of what looked like pure styrene. If you look closely you can see some rainbow colors and this is because of styrene's refractive properties. The styrene will be stored in the fridge until tomorrow and I hope that it doesn't polymerize. Anyways this was it for today's video and now you know how to make styrene from polystyrene. In one of my next videos you're going to see what we are actually using styrene for. If you don't want to miss out on that make sure to subscribe.